What's going on there, YouTube? This is Quinn, that's Snazzy iPhone Guy, and today is Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. Now, today's Terminal Tip isn't really gonna help you maximize your workflow, it's not gonna help you get anything done faster, it's not really gonna be fun, but it will save you when you are in a crisis. This has happened to me several times before, and it probably has happened to you, and that is for one reason or the other, we don't know, the CD gets stuck in our optical bay. There's not really much you can do about it. Way back in the olden days when the iMacs were on G3s and G4s, you could, there was a little pinhole you could stick a pin in and it would force eject the CD mechanically. Well, those are gone in the i5s, excuse me, in the uh, latest iMacs from like 2005 on, that's gone. Now, why, I can't really explain to you because CDs still get stuck. I guess maybe it's because Apple says, oh, Nothing so elementary would happen to our advanced software, but it does. CDs get stuck in there. It just happens. There's so many different theories on forms, and all of them are either really scary or really stupid. Um, obviously, the eject button doesn't work. If you call Apple Care, they'd be like, well, it's a mechanical problem. Take it in the store. That's not true. Uh, you can right click it, all that other stuff. You can hold it down, or you can turn the computer on and be holding eject. It still doesn't eject. Uh, people will go on forms and say, well, if you stick a clip in there or a needle, there's a little mechanical trigger in there. If you click that trigger and then shake your Mac down, it's like, no, I don't want to do that. And you shouldn't have to. There is a terminal command that will most likely, 99% sure, eject that disk from your computer. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So first of all, you need to open terminal. If you don't know where that is, you can do a spotlight search for it, or you can find it under your applications folder under the utility section. So we've got terminal open. We are ready to go. Here's our window, and we need to now type our command. Now, before we tell the computer to eject the CD, we need to know what identifier the CD holds. We need to know what disk that is. Now, disk is a generic term on Mac OS X. Disk means hard drive, uh, CD, flash drive. It's any mountable storage. Okay, so we need to find which one our CD is. We're going to type disk util, util, D-I-S-K, U-T-I-L, space, list. I have three disks pop up. You may have one, two, 20. It depends on how many things are plugged into your computer. I have three. The first one is the internal Macintosh hard drive, 320 gigabytes. The second one is a external hard drive, 999.5 gigabytes, which is a terabyte. And then uh, you have the third one, which is DVD-ROM, 7.8 gigabytes. Well, we know that that's the DVD. Now, like I stated earlier, yours may not be disk three, yours may be disk 10 or disk 12 or disk one, or, you know, it depends on what your list is you know, it depends on what your identifier is. So my identifier is disk three. Yours may be disk three, it may not. Pay attention to the identifier, you will need to remember it. Uh, if there's nothing displayed, if it says disk three, type name, and there's nothing below it, and size, and there's nothing below it but a star, and it says zero bytes, don't worry, that's still your disk drive. It just means that you've inserted a blank CD, and the blank CD or DVD cannot be ejected. So that's not much to worry about, but most of the time it'll say DVD-ROM size, it may vary. It depends on if you're using a CD, DVD, dual layer DVD, Blu-ray disc, you know, it just says DVD-ROM, okay? So now that we know it's disk three, again, yours may be different, we need to tell the computer to eject that. So we're going to type again, disk util space eject, E-J-E-C-T e space, and then you're gonna type your identifier. So mine is disk three. Again, for the last time, yours may be different. So you're gonna press enter, and wait a few seconds, and voila, the computer has ejected your disk and you are ready to go. You know it's ejected because first of all, it came out of the slot, and because if you type that again, you'll say disk util list, it says there's only two drives, which means the third disk, which is our disk right here, was ejected. So that's it, that's Terminal Tip Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it was a beneficialness to you. If it wasn't, leave a comment below and I will try to help you resolve your issue. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.